Good morning, class. Today I want to look at cord care. So when we look at cord care, we want to clean the cord of the baby. In this case, we want to clean it. So we want to know the technique that you should use to clean the cord. And then um, we clean the cord when the, maybe say the baby is uh, uh, been admitted to your NICU or your ward. And then maybe if it's a premature baby, we can be cleaning the cord until it drops. So we need to also clean and teach the mothers how to clean. So you see the technique, but then you have to just uh, ensure that you follow septic techniques over here. So I'm going to use uh, cupboard water to clean the cord. But then we're going to follow a septic uh, techniques as we do the cleaning. Okay, so we're going to start with um, hand washing. Then um, the sons, let's just bring me the gloves. Okay, just our gloves. Okay, so let's uh, start. We're going to start. So you have to just do that, the normal one. So as you are drying your hands, it's supposed to go to the mother because the baby might be with the mother, or if it's in the incubator, you have to just go there in the incubator, but you have to ask for permission from the mother. Okay, so you have to go there where the baby is. If it's with the mother, you need to ask from Madam Good morning. Um, my, my, my student number two from Kadush College of Nursing have been assigned to do cord care. May I please go ahead? Then it's okay. Uh, go ahead. Then anything I can do uh, before I begin? It's okay, nothing. Let me just see the baby. So you can just expose there so to see the cord so that you know how, to, what, how much to prepare. Then apart from seeing the cord, you need to check the ID band. For all babies, if you are doing an examination or cleaning, need to check the ID band. So this is baby of Consi. So you have confirmed with the ID band. This is the baby you want to do cord care on. So after that, you'll be able to just leave the baby like that. But um, in this room, it's uh, warm and the heaters are you know, working. So after that, you need to just uh, prepare just with the fluid. Okay, this is cupboard water. You have to go behind there and then pour. Okay. In that hypo tray. So we are using the hypo tray to clean. So at this moment, um, it's ready. Let me just scrub. So you can just do one, two, and the usual one, two, and one, two, and up to your elbows. Your elbows. Do that. Then the same technique for drying of hands, or the same technique, just do that. Then in between the fingers, and then up to there. Okay. Then you have to go around outside. Do that. Then you go up to the elbows. Then the third one, you need to go to kick there. Okay. Then in between the fingers, up to there. Okay. Fourth one. You go behind, okay. then you go up to your elbows. Then this one discarded and so the same way of donning gloves, you need to hold here, not this part. So you need just to hold this part. This part is sterile, this part at least you can hold it because it will be inside. Okay. So you can do that. Even if it's not properly worn, you can go this way and push in your fingers there. Okay, so you can now correct. You can push in your fingers nicely. Okay. So you can do them there. So well, you didn't do it properly. Okay. Okay, so after that. You can now start preparing the swabs. So the swabs you can prepare can be even be five or six. So one, then you do that, two, then three, four, five, and six. So you have prepared about six swabs. So at this moment, um, I would ask my assistant to expose the babies and like us can expose to the, for me the baby. So after exposing the 
umbilicus, then I have to get gauze. So you need to get gauze. When you get gauze there, this, this gauze is for holding the uh, cord. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it there to hold the cord. So, so much that this hand remains sterile. So you're going to put it that way. Okay, you can put it back if you want. But this one will remain sterile. So it will be the one that will be picking. So it goes back to pick, then drop. Once you drop like that, then you're going to hold here, where the gauze is. So hold gauze here, then start from the base. So when you start from the base, it has to be one. Okay, so you did from there, which is one. Then you can drop this, then free your hands, then drop that. Then again, you pick with this hand, you drop here. Then you pick the cord with this uh, hand, then you continue. You clean from here to there, so you can do from here to there if you want, or from here to there, so you can do the base. So the base is done. You started from there one, then two, this side. So once you do that, now you can proceed to do the side of the cord. So you have to put there, then you have to now change the cleaning technique. So you have to, from the base, now you have to start from the base up, up to the cord clamp here. So you start from the base, then you go on up to the clamp like this. So you started from the base, you did it once, which is the meaning that side is clean. Then another side, when you pick, you drop. So you are going to do it this way. From this side, you are going to start here, the base, you do until the cord clamp. So you did this side with a bigger swab, one. Then the other side, two. So after that, meaning you're remaining with the piece of the cord on top. You can pick the last one and put here. So you can just hold here and do that. Meaning cord care is done. So we started with um, holding with the gauze. You started with uh, the base. After the base, you go on the side, the side. After that, then you clean there. But ensure that this is held with the gauze so that you'll be picking the swabs. So at this moment, you can even cover the baby and say thank you to the mother. So, um, Madam Consi, thank you very much for allowing me to do this procedure on your baby. Ensure that you do not put cow dung on the baby's cord when you're discharged and ensure that no chemicals should be added because that might introduce infection in the baby through the cord. So at least you give IEC accordingly, so you can find a lot more IEC that you can give to, to this mother, so that they continue cleaning the code at home. Okay, so thank you very much. You then go to the in-charge, you report, my in-charge code has been done, and the baby has been left comfortable, so, and I've documented. Then the last part is just to hand wash. So at this moment, you are done. So what you just need to do is just to practice. Ensure to use the gauze and ensure to use swabs correctly. So thank you very much for watching and keep watching.